Ever wonder why a grain bin is more dangerous than it looks? It's like a giant bowl of quicksand. Imagine falling into one of those towering silos full of corn or wheat. Your first instinct would probably be to thrash around, to swim, Help to climb me. your way out as fast as you can. But that is the single worst idea you could possibly have. You see, grain acts just like quicksand. The scary part is how fast it happens. You can sink up to your knees in just four seconds. And in less than 20 seconds, you can be completely buried. The more you wiggle and fight, the faster the grain settles around you, pulling you down. The pressure can quickly become immense, trapping your legs and making it incredibly hard to even take a breath. So if the worst happens, what do you do? The steps are simple, but they go against every survival instinct. First, and this is the most critical step, immediately cup your hands over your nose and mouth. This creates a small but vital air pocket, giving you precious breathing room as the grain closes in. Second, you have to stay calm. Seriously, I know it sounds impossible, but any panicked fast movements will just make you sink deeper and faster. Think slow, deliberate actions. Your goal is to be as still as a statue. Third, shout for help and then wait. That's it, your job is done. Rescue crews are highly trained for this exact scenario. They have specialized equipment, like giant metal tubes they can place around you to relieve the pressure while they carefully dig you out. Your only job is to stay still, breathe inside your air pocket, and let them do their work. Just think of it this way. If a single needle feels sharp, Ouch. being buried in grain is like being pressed on by billions of them. So the best advice is to never go swimming in it in the first place. Remember, if you fall into a grain bin, don't panic, don't climb, just cup your hands and wait for help. You've got this.